Welcome to this video demonstration of the Advantage Engineering TransPro and Multi-Mode. This video will walk you through the dipstick process of transmission fluid exchange. To start, use an Allen wrench to set up the stanchion as seen in the manual. Attach the red and black hoses to the black wand assembly. Hang the wand assembly on the stanchion. It is extremely important that each time you power up the machine, the dipstick hose is inside the stanchion. Power up the machine by attaching the power cables to the battery. The machine will sound and prep itself for use. This takes about 30 seconds. Remove the dipstick on the vehicle and measure the length alongside the dipstick hose. Insert the dipstick hose to the proper depth. After the machine cycles, some of the lights on the board will be flashing. Use the select button to scroll through the different menu options. To make a selection, hit enter. Once we've selected the dipstick only option, the machine will show a default of 12 quarts. Use the plus and minus keys to adjust the amount of quarts required for your service. When you have selected the amount of quarts for your service, double check to make sure that the dipstick hose is at the proper depth and that the service area is clean. Once you've done that, hit enter. The machine will first prime the line, sending fluid down to the drain pan. Once there is no air in the line, the machine will drain the pan dry. Normally, this is between two to three and a half quarts. Once the pan has been drained, the machine will fill the pan back up with new ATF. Once the machine has refilled the pan with new ATF, the machine will sound. This prompts you to start the engine and shift through the gears. Make sure to spend three seconds on each gear so as to fully open the transmission. Finish by putting the engine in neutral or park and leave the engine running. Once you've done that, Go back to the machine and hit enter. Now the machine will go back and forth, adding a quart of new fluid and removing a quart of old, diluted fluid. This will go on until the service is complete. Once the machine is finished, go to the vehicle and check your fluid level. If the level is where it needs to be, the service is complete. If it is not, Use the plus and minus keys to add or remove fluid to or from the transmission by the tenth of a quart. Again, use the select key to scroll through the options, to trans, from trans, or finish service. Once your selection is highlighted, hit the enter key. Use the plus or minus keys to adjust the amount of fluid you want to add or remove, then hit enter. When the machine finishes adjusting the fluid, check the level again. Once the proper level has been reached, scroll down to Finish Service and hit Enter. At this point, your service is complete. Remember to check your fluid level before you begin a service. Whenever the dipstick hose is not in the vehicle, Make sure that it's in the stanchion. Start the service with a hot vehicle, but with the engine off. 